I'm Lindsay Doe, and this is my road to Nerd Friteria. Back in 2009, 2010, I was self-employed, working out of my home, doing a lot of curriculum building, and then uh, private practice seeing clients to address their sexual health issues. To make myself feel better throughout the day, I would search for animal videos, you know, lighten the mood, get me out of a funk. I didn't have coworkers who could do that for me. It was very lonely. And so I found this video, top 10 animal power moves, in which this handsome young nerd says, Hank, when the bombardier beetle is threatened, it turns around and sprays boiling hot acid out of its butt. And then he continues power move number nine. As you know, I love giraffes, Hank. And I was like, who's Hank? Tell me more about Hank. At which point the next video came up and this was the top 10 weirdest diseases. Seeing these two brothers have back and forth conversations with each other was amazing for me. And so I went back through a lot of their content and figured out what was going on. Were they fighting nerds? And then it got really exciting because there was a video where John referred to a fire that happened in Bozeman, Montana. And he referred to this fire as if it was somehow going to affect Hank. Was Hank living in Montana? The next clue came in when John had done something really successful and as a response video, Hank managed to go around his city humping various objects which was my city. Hank is here! So at least one of these two men who have affected me so profoundly, professionally and personally, almost as if they were my coworkers, lives in Montana. So it seemed like a logical next step to email him and invite him to speak at my human sexuality panel and talk about his own experience. He's funny, he's smart, he would be a perfect candidate and he agreed. It was spectacular. So I invited him back and this time I did a little teaching before the panel about cultures that I felt were really exemplary of the diversity of sexual behavior, how erotocentrism affects us and prep the audience for having more open minds when Hank and the rest of the panelists shared their stories. Afterward, Hank came up to me and he said, you know, Lindsay, you'd make really great talent, to which I said, I don't know what that means. And he said, that is the face, the personality of a YouTube channel. You could have a really great YouTube channel. But I stored it away. That's a lot of work. I don't have a video camera. I don't know how to edit. Until Emily Grassley was on Vlogbrothers and offered her channel via their production company. To which I thought, oh my goodness, the model has been set. I don't have to do the editing and the videography. Someone else can do that for me. And I can have a YouTube channel. Since then, some of my favorite memories of Nerd Viteria have been going to a gathering in Oahu, Hawaii, where I was able to connect with people who were part of the community, being able to flash the hand symbols to another person to communicate that there's a mutual understanding of what's going on. Project for Awesome is really important to me. Watching the Vlogbrothers regularly and improving my life and curiosity is important to me. Voiding pennies is important to me. Even things like minimizing the size of my grass lawn and my meat consumption are all results of Nerd Viteria. You're my employers. You're my friends. You're the community I found when I was really lonely and the community I've chosen to stay with because you're so freaking great. Thanks for letting me share my road to Nerd Viteria, DFTBA.